Hey, what's up everyone? So I am outside of a Toys R Us here in Burbank. And uh, you know, a lot of these Toys R Us's, they haven't started liquidating yet, but I did want to go buy, um, you know, two uh, Toys R Us's today in particular, so I could check out what they have uh, currently marked down uh, before the crazy liquidation sale comes. Because once that happens, anything that I would like to buy will probably already have been bought because with my work schedule and stuff, I'll probably just never have time to come check out a Toys R Us right away. So before they started liquidating, I wanted to go in. So you'll see some shots on screen here of me walking around the Burbank store. And uh, you know, it was, a, it was a weird environment in there. Everyone, pretty much every customer that um, <clears throat> was looking at the same stuff I was looking at, wanted to start a conversation about how Toys R Us's were going away. And uh, you know, it's 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 hard, because it's like, I, I mean, I've been coming to, there's three Toys R Us's in particular in Los Angeles area that I've been shopping at for the past, I guess like eight, seven years, really. And then uh, in the past five, purely just to make YouTube videos off of. And that has been, uh, there's a Toys R Us on La Cienega, there's a Toys R Us um, here in Burbank and on Victory, and there's one on Los Feliz uh, out uh, near Glendale. And uh, those three I've, I've pretty much hit constantly, it, even though, you know, depending where I lived, I would still make the trips to them. Uh, and I would always hunt for toys there. It would usually be, you know, back when I first started my YouTube channel, I did like Star Wars Rebels toy reviews. I did, uh, I was one of the first people to put videos up of the Rebels toys, which is probably why I got so many hits on them. Um, and uh, I did toys, you know, I did uh, Transformer reviews, uh, and most of the stuff I bought were from Toys R Us's. Uh, I used to work at a Toys R Us, so I've tried to always support them with the money I've had. It's really hard as a, as someone who lives check to check, uh, and ha as someone who, uh, you know, you know, just has a lot of things that he's a fan of. Like I love, obviously, comic books, and those kind of are my first love. Uh, toys are a really close second. Um, movies have kind of drifted back. I don't see m m a lot of movies nowadays, and it's mostly because. I don't get the same enjoyment of going to the theater as I used to. Uh, I get, you know, freak out, you know, with uh, anxiety and crowds and stuff. It's it's not easy for me a lot of times, so I wait for movies to, you know, go to home video. Um, but uh, so saving that money has pretty much increased a little bit my toy and comic book money. And then even cutting back on some comics at times, like I have to balance it. And it's, it's really tough because obviously I would love to just have money to support these things that I love so much, you know, with like Toys R Us and, and other things. Uh, I know what it's like to be at the end of a road. I used to work at Blockbuster Video um, and uh, I know what it's like to watch something close and end like this. It feels like the end of an era and in a lot of ways for some of us, depending on what generation you grew up on, it is. But I could imagine it's probably, you know, was, I keep thinking of like my grandpa and what he kind of went through his generation didn't really have these nostalgic things really uh, they were more family based you know uh, at least my grandfather was cared a lot about his kids and uh, I remember when um, he used to work at a still mill and when they decided to not make still uh, steel in this country um, and they closed down his his steel mill and in, uh, in Weirton West Virginia and I rem I remember you know vaguely you know, his reaction to that, you know, it's like, oh, I have no more work. I have, uh, there was something I was actually doing that was benefiting this country in a lot of ways and providing a lot of jobs and it was taken away. And obviously I can't compare the two, uh, you know, apples and apples, uh, but you know, he, I think that's the only thing I can think of maybe from his generation that he saw go away that impacted him, uh, but it also impacted everybody. I mean, there is, what, 33,000 jobs that are going to be lost uh, because of the Toys R Us stores closing. And uh, and that's a real bummer. That's a lot of people that are going to be looking for work soon, and that is going to affect the economy in certain ways, and it's going to affect a lot of things. And, and the ripple effect, you know, I work at Lego, and I feel like that ripple effect, you know, Toys R Us provides a lot of business for Lego. Like they're a big chunk of our business. Uh, we, you know, sell stuff to them. They sell it, you know, to you guys in, in cities that don't have Lego stores um, or don't shop online. And they provided a big service for Lego and to see them go, you know, could affect even my job. So the ripple effect of this is, is really gonna be tremendous in a lot of ways, especially to us toy collectors and people who have been buying toys since we were kids. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a little weird. It's it's so the air in there was very different. So uh, I'm gonna go to a couple. You know, I'm gonna at least go. I can't make it to La Cienega today. Um, I do still feel 
crappy, but I did buy some things here. I just wanted to make a purchase. Um, and so I picked up uh, these Marvel Legend figures. I got Punisher and Daredevil from the Netflix shows. These, the season ones of each of these shows are my two favorite Netflix shows. I do like Jessica Jones and I do like the first half of Luke Cage, uh, but, uh, and, and also season two of Daredevil, but season one of Punisher and Daredevil are currently my two favorite shows. So when I saw these for buy one, get one 40% off, I was like, you know, I've kind of wanted these for a while and they will go good with my, my, you know, Venom, Spider-Man, Marvel Legends collections because, you know, Punisher first appeared in a Spider-Man comic. Uh, and then we have Daredevil who's teamed up with him a bunch of times, including on the, the, uh, a, a graphic novel I reread recently, which is the, the death of Gene DeWolf. And it made me really love Daredevil even more than I already did. I love this character. So to have these two was great, uh, to be able to support in a small way with the little bit amount of money I have, I was able to make at least one purchase here and I was able to pick up a sticker and on my way out, I grabbed two of these and there was a little kid buying a Lego set in front of me. He was like a little kid, like three years old and as he was sitting in the cart and he was holding his Lego set and it was like a big Duplo set and I was like I you know I leaned over and I gave him one of these stickers and he just you know grabbed it and put it right on so I'm gonna put this on today in support of Toys R Us for always being a Toys R Us kid I've been shopping with you guys for you know 30 years um, and uh, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate uh, everything so uh, and and even giving me a job at one point when uh, when it was tough to find work and in you know, Toys R Us was nice enough to, to get me, a, you know, give me a job uh, in Orlando, Florida. So that was really awesome. So I will always remember this company. And uh, if they have an online site, I'll try my best to shop online to at least support the company in some way. And I think maybe one or two of these stores here in Los Angeles might even be privately owned. I don't know how that affects them when a franchise goes away. I don't know if it, if, if they can independently stay open. I know there's a guy like in Alaska who owns like 10 uh, blockbusters and he's keeping them open because he owns them because uh, fr they franchise it out to him. So if that happens, that'll be great for me and I'll try to make uh, videos as often as I can going to that Toys R Us for you guys. Uh, so without further ado, I've talked long enough. Let's head over to um, Los Feliz and let's at least hit that uh, Toys R Us before we call it a day. So thank you guys so much for watching. So I just came out of the uh, Los Feliz Toys R Us and I was bummed I actually didn't make a purchase. There was nothing there that really um, jumped out at me. Uh, there was a couple things I thought I might get as a gift for someone, uh, but then I text them and they were like, oh, I actually already have that. So I was like, okay, because normally I'd be like, oh, I'll just surprise them and if they don't want it, I'll keep it or give it to somebody else. But I was like, ah, you know, <laughs> money is tight right now. Uh, and there is, uh, you know, I have to pay my roommate back for Avengers Infinity War tickets, which he just bought today, and a couple of uh, utility bills. So, um, so yeah, I'm like trying to pinch a little bit of pennies because I am trying to save money for a comic book store event tomorrow. Uh, Earth 2 Comics is actually going to have like a big parking lot sale. And I thought that'd be a good place for me to find maybe some back issues of Venom and Spawn. So I wanted to bring at least a few dollars to that so I can support uh, that comic store as well So like I said, it gets hard to juggle everything uh, But you know, I know a lot of people are, are bummed about Toys R Us leaving I'm really really bummed out by it um, I, As far as I know the two stores here that I visited today aren't going anywhere anytime soon I don't think they definitely haven't started liquidating anything the sales aren't massive sales they're just doing regular promotional sales that they're doing right now like buy one get one 40 percent off marvel i think that was planned anyway some of the things that are on sale so they're starting to get things out of there um and as far as i've heard they're not going to get any new product so anything like any of the new marvel legend toys or anything that i might be looking for new transformers they're probably not going to get any it's it doesn't look like they're going to ship them they're just going to restock them on stuff that they want to liquidate and get out you know get out of their warehouses so um yeah i don't know i don't know how how much longer these places will be here they'll make an announcement at some point uh, about how long these stores have and like i said this one here in los Feliz, i believe it's privately owned i think it was franchised out to somebody so i don't know if that means it goes away too I guess it comes down to the business here and how well it is. Uh, there, usually when I come to this one, there is a line. And uh, and so that's why I text my friend. I was like, oh, there's a long line. Let me see if he really needs this. And he was like, no, nah, I'm good. So uh, it was also cool. I ran into a friend named Eric there who's a big Transformer fan. And he's actually the one who got those two Dinobots for me at Christmas time. So I, was, I ran into him, which is really awesome. And we kind of shopped around together. Uh, and his son was with us too, which was really cool. And it actually made it a lot more fun to actually be in a toy store, in a Toys R Us with a like three, four year old kid. I think he's maybe even younger than that, but um, he's like bouncing ball, you know, like taking a ball and bouncing it at us and, and playing and checking out the toys and just having a, a blast. And all I could think about is like, you know, the, like 
<laughs> like, not that he'll never have that experience again. There's certainly other places that sell toys he probably reacts the same way to, but you know, to have a big store like this, uh, you know, uh, the reason I have such a connection to it is when I think about um, when I think about toy collecting, like at Lego and 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 here at Toys R Us, it's uh, my hospital. The hospital I go to is right down the street, and um, and, and doctors nearby and stuff, and and. It is every time I've ever gotten either bad news or mediocre news, <laughs> sometimes even when I got good news, uh, I would come here and, and, and spend money uh, to cheer myself up. Uh, that's a pretty much, I know it sounds unhealthy maybe to tie it that way, but that's what this place is to me, is a is medicine in a way. Uh, same with Lego. I would go down, once I learned the Lego, because I used to buy all my Lego here at uh, Toys R Us and the one on, on La Cienega, when I found out there was actually a Lego store, I was like, holy crap. So that's, you know, uh, that made me, you know, split my time and go to, you know, buy my Lego there and buy toys here at Toys R Us. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you visited your local Toys R Us's? Are they liquidating yet? Mine's still pretty operational for now, um, but you can just tell in the air there. You know, I, there's this young girl that works at the the one here, and she always recognizes me. And you know, so she was you know busy with her line today, and it was it was good to see them working and hopefully making some money. And hopefully that you know they can if this is independently owned, hopefully they can stay afloat a little longer because uh, I hate seeing when people lose their jobs, uh, especially people working in something like toys. Well, you know where they're just trying to spread you know uh you know cool things to kids you know and and big kids like me um and they've done it for you know consistently ever since i've ever been inside a toys r us so um so yeah and the stores here like i the one in burbank the one here customer service always great everyone's always very nice and uh and i hope they go on to you know work in really you know bigger and better things as well so uh yeah uh, let me know what you think down below sorry i didn't have any toys to end this video with uh but uh maybe we'll you know cut back to my apartment and we'll at least take a look at the two toys i have i'll you know we'll just take a closer look at them talk about them some more but maybe i'll do that in another video because i think this one's run long enough so thank you guys so much for watching as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace